I want to address the Labour Party. Hold on there. I saw put out one press release about PMP not have no moral right and authority to speak about crime because they put out ISAT, um, ISAT as candidate um, for the People's National Party seat in East Portland. JLP, you have no moral authority to, to talk about crime. You have no moral authority to talk about corruption. You have no moral authority to talk about anything in the country jamaica labor party when i saw the press release i was like these people are extremely desperate labor party I understand so we can't win the next election so we not try target and go after people we don't talk about we don't talk about ethics we don't talk about good governance but yet still the jamaica labor party government is blocking the integrity commission from carrying out its job the prime minister is carrying the ic to court to strike down a law that that prevent public officials from illicit enrichment and you talk about moral authority understand on a bad mind because we don't have no good candidate over the jamaica labor party to represent the people can you can you imagine a man who was convicted a man who has done wrong has elevated himself from the prison to become an at lead attorney in jamaica and the jamaica labor party have the audacity to write a press release about the man's character you guys don't believe in rehabilitation you don't believe that people can change what kind of party how can you represent the masses of the people how can you represent people in a country and not believe in the transformation of change how can you represent a country that has many diverse people and not accept that people can change jlp when i saw the press release i was disappointed and you guys don't surprise me every day on the disappoint me for somebody who is in government who should know better who should be encouraging people to transform like isat does to be from the prison cell to the courthouse as a leading attorney and you're telling me you're condemning somebody for that jamaica labor party get your hacks together time come for the people's national party to regain government of jamaica time come mark golden time so the jamaican labor party take a set by isaac buchanan from them years say him a go run for you over portland even darrell vars a fret him all say him a go last suit the people's national party pnp darrell vars your time up time come and jewelness you are another one your time up time come Remember this, the Jamaican people them wake up now. And we, the people of Jamaica, will not give the Jamaican layered party another term for Requi country. People, if you don't agree with me, so we don't give the Jamaican layered party another term for mash up the country, then leave a like on this video and share the video. Leave a like on this video and share the video. Because these people feel like we're still asleep. These people don't know say, our prayers and fasting are work for we while they work over, over there in the Jamaican Layard Party. And Jewelness and him administration is a set of criminal, a set of thief, a set of criminal with a criminal organization. And time come, time come for your change. Time come for Isaac Buchanan run out Darrell Valls and his wife out of Portland. Because they have not been honest to the people of Jamaica. Time come for the lies and the thieving. Stop. Time come for the people them open up them yai. But bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now my viewers and my subscribers, remember in everything you do, always put God first in every uh, any situation, just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, we have a lot coming up inside this update. So you definitely don't want to miss none. So remember, leave a like on this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. Alright, so make a run the intro and come back. We soon forward. Soon come. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. 
Big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're a new viewers, first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. And viewers and subscribers, remember, we are on our way to 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, now is the right time for you to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. All right? So people, Andrew Wallace and him administration, the Jamaican Layard Party, take set pan Isaac Buchanan from the very moment them realize that Isaac are going to run for the People's National Party over there in Portland. Them even go as far as say, this man is a criminal, right? This man is a liar by profession. And them, these people, we are more criminal than anybody else. I call somebody else criminal. That simple means say, these people don't believe that youths can change. And that's why Ori Stranger and Jewel and Stell Police should be killed and explain later. Them not like get a youth. Me tell you already, you know, this is one of the worst parties in history that were formed by the CIA to destroy Jamaica. And the people of Jamaica need to know that. Who no need to know that? So this party were formed by the CIA to destroy the country. So all of them run back at them and follow back at them. Who no need to know on a history. Alright? So people, anyway, Isaac Buchanan visit Portland. And trust me, people, down to labor rang a change over to PNP from them city man. People, check out the video right here, right now. Following the announcement, many have voiced concerns on Buchanan's appointment, including the Jamaican Labour Party. But the PNP remains steadfast in its decision. As its general secretary explains, Trisha Gay Kelly picks up that story. Since the People's National Party PNP Member of Parliament candidate for East Portland Colin Bell stepped away from the task in September, the party has been on a mission to find the next representative. On Tuesday, the PNP announced that attorney at law Isaac Buchanan will be contesting the seat in the general elections. PNP General Secretary Dr. Dayton Campbell says it's not the party that randomly decided on Buchanan, but the constituents who requested him. The people of East Portland called for Isaac Buchanan. And when we did the soundings in the constituency, he has overwhelming support and he has generated a tremendous level of excitement within the constituency. I went down there on Tuesday night to inform them of his candidacy. They asked when will he be on the ground. We decided there and then that he would be on the ground on Wednesday. And by Wednesday morning, you had several hundred persons out there waiting for him. That level of excitement does not exist anywhere else in any of the other 63, the other 62 constituencies in the country. Not long after the PNP's announcement, the party was criticized for its decision, specifically by the government, which bashed them saying the opposition is in no position to speak on crime, corruption and ethics. But political analyst Lloyd B. Smith, who agrees Buchanan is a good move for the PNP, says it's a pot kettle situation. I think the JLP's response is somewhat of an overreaction. Uh, given that when we look at the political history of Jamaica, there have been many instances when persons who have, for one reason or another, been either convicted or um, faced the law in one way or another, um, ended up serving as parliamentarians. So I, I, I don't see that as a major issue. Smith reasons Buchanan redeemed himself after serving time for his acts in the past. The former PNP MP also highlighted the similarity of the situation with the U.S. presidential race, in which presidential candidate Donald Trump is still being investigated for felonies. While he believes in full integrity, Smith says the political landscape has quite a way to go, and until it reaches that place, the JLP cannot speak on the matter. All right, that's it. Everyone agrees too much. 
from the people and I'm responding to that request. Uh, you, you have been doing some background checks here. Um, mm -hmm. What has it been like so far? <laughs> background checks? Yes. Well, I, I wouldn't call it background checks, but certainly what I'm doing is meeting and greeting and trying to get an understanding of the space. Um, listening to the constituents and, and certainly um, ensuring that I respond to the problems and the issues that's raised. So it has been very positive so far. Uh, hitting the ground here yesterday and today, yes. um, what has it been like? What response have you been getting? It's, it's, it's high energy, so I'm, I'm keeping up with the energy. It's, it's, it's overwhelming positivity. And it, 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 it reminds me that I am Jamaican and I'm a son of Jamaica and I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. What are things that you need to take into the team here for? Um, you know, taken to the table here, there's a problem with Blue Lagoon, there's a problem with education, um, economic growth, opportunities for the youth. So I'm listening to them and we're trying to find ways to um, fix those, those problems, finding solutions and ensure that every single person is included. That is what is most important for me right now. For one who has been doing a number of business with government over the years, mm -hmm. um, we hear that there's a development to take place in Bombo where all government centers will be placed here. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that proposal? Um, so I, I, anything that includes development, there is no opposition to that. What is important is that the people is included. So if there is development, it means there is work. Oftentimes when development is announced, the people are left on the um, perimeter with no, with no benefit, no profitability. And there's generations after us. Long after I'm gone, Jamaica will be here. But what is important to be remembered is that while you're in the space, what you contribute to uplift each and every person, um, that's what we're looking for. So I don't object to the development as long as there's inclusion for the people. Um, a former PNP government had done the Errolfield Marina. Mm -hmm. It has been laid idle for a period of time. Any plans for the development? Well, yeah. well certainly I've seen the space. I know I know that there's an airstrip here and I know how the port is. Um, what, is what we need to do is to revive um, development where that is concerned because we want um, tourism to be um, high priority as well and without the exclusion, because where there is tourism, we have three things in it. We have reggae music, which includes dance hall, we have track and field, and we have tourism. What that does is give economic opportunities for the people. So especially the young, they are talented, and not, not, not just, not just to, to, to be um, working for people, but to become small business owners, and we need the tourism to de definitely service that. Uh, as you mentioned about tourism mm -hmm. um, and reggae music, um, there has been talk about um, what can be done with Navy Island. Have you been able to look at anything like that? I, have not able, I haven't been able to certainly deal with that, but when it comes to entertainment, what, what, what I can give you is a promise that that development will take place. The, the entertainment facilities and the entertainment industry um, so that the youth will not sit idle and have to be exported for job opportunities because Portland is a very beautiful part. Supporters of the PNP created a party atmosphere in sections of Port Antonio, Portland on Wednesday as they joined Isaac McCannon on a tour of the parish capital. Town cars also echoed in the streets with jingles signaling his campaign is already on the way. Look how we look good and clean. Remember Parliament to be time come, God and time. And we say I sat for Kenan. 
I'm enjoying the moment so far and I'm very grateful and honored that the people are welcoming me the way that I never expected. Coming to East Portland, what is that easy decision for you? It was an easy decision. I was called by the people. In terms of rep representation, they will not get disappointment. So they will expect somebody who will show up. They will expect somebody who will act. They will expect somebody who will listen. And they will expect somebody who will elevate. That is what I represent. Rehabilitation, elevation, and the possibilities are endless. It's been a revolving door of PNP candidates in recent years in eastern Portland. Mr. Buchanan is the third since 2019 as the PNP struggles to find a strong candidate to try and retake the reins from Anne-Marie Vaz of the JLP. The latest PNP representative to call it quits was Colin Bell, a man known as Shaka fame to many people in Portland. Now his replacement, Buchanan, has risen to relative fame in the last few years due to his successful legal representation of dancehall superstar Vibes Cartel in his murder matter. It's a reality many observers feel could open the doors to some younger dance or loving voters for him. But that's not the only legal matter gaining focus since Buchanan's entrance into the political arena. The JLP's leadership says the PNP's fielding of Mr. Buchanan has damaged their credibility to speak on matters of integrity, crime, corruption and morals, and reinforces the PNP cannot be trusted to lead Jamaica. In a release on Wednesday, the JLP outlined that Mr. Buchanan is a man who served hard time in Jamaica and the USA for drug-related offenses, including cocaine. The JLP says while they believe in rehabilitation, the recent crude comment directed at the DPP by Mr. Buchanan is a reminder that his unbecoming conduct and poor judgment are not things of the past. The PNP supporters who joined him on Wednesday, though, appeared unfazed by his problematic past. They argued Mr. Buchanan has a good chance of winning the seat as his competitors not delivered sufficiently. Infrastructure issues were among their main criticisms of the current representative. They push them at everything higher than cost of living. The carpet, the money, so they might give The carpet strand, they might drop out and the pavement not done. So Portland people, are not ready for dump out Darrell Vals and his wife out of Portland? Are not ready for PNP? Take over Portland and hope lift Portland. Isaac Buchanan is the man. So remember, vote for Isaac because Isaac are for the people. Isaac always help out people. Right? Isaac do a lot for the Jamaican people and him never in a politics. So people, you know, don't be fooled by these criminals in the Jamaican Labour Party. And sell out on a vote. Do the right thing and vote for Isaac Buchanan. You understand what I say? Now, when you check it out, you know, people, even labor right, you know, start switch over already, you know, because if a vendor over there in Portland, you know, where you see Isaac um, sit down in her lap, you know, she change. She change. She said a long time she want change from labor right to PNP because of the, the, the sabotage with labor right, sabotage them. And the lack of opportunities and all them something, you know, people. So me only hope say it open up a lot more eyes. And them know if you do the right thing. But people, stay the thought and that down below in the comment section. And as usual, remember, leave a like on this video. Give it a thumbs up. One Isaac Buchanan, one Mark Golden, one Jamaica. Remember. So people, leave a like on this video. Alright? Now. Make we move on. Who remember this? We are just say. And as such will function under its general oversight. And I don't want to be giving conflicting views. It is a commission of parliament. But it is still independent. It is independent. Like all the other commissions which have to be attached to some form of state authority. But the parliament cannot interfere in or direct the commission as to what to do in the similar way that there are other independent commissions which are attached to parliament now that back in 2017 when Andrew Wallace introduced the integrity commission and it come like him not remember all of these things that he said it come like say him not remember or him remember but him never know say they would have go up against him the prime minister him never know that. If him did know, 
I can guarantee you saying that he wouldn't form this integrity commission thing. But now that he got caught up in the net, he wants to take them to court. Andrew Wallace, you should resign. Andrew Wallace, you is an evil man. You is an evil prime minister. And we are reminding you that you should resign and resign now while you can. Resign, man. One of the worst things ever happened to Jamaica. Trust me. The Jamaica Labour Party must never speak on moral integrity. I'm going to say, I have to really process fast and think. The Jamaica Labour Party attacks on the PNP lose all credibility, lose all moral integrity because they send Isaac Buchanan to Eastern Portland. But Jamaica, the Jamaica Labour Party is in no shape or form to speak about moral integrity. You hear me, Jamaica? The Jamaica Labour Party is in no shape or form to speak about moral integrity. Then the word that must come out and none of the Jamaica Labour Party members nor supporters mouth. Jamaica, the Labour right them want me start talk up things. Huh? Let's talk about a leader, Prime Minister Andrew Michael Olness. Let's talk about integrity and his part. First to begin as a Prime Minister. Indian not supposed to mix up in a no woman cheating and no baby mother drama and you is a married man. Your name not supposed to call up in these mix up. Your name not supposed to call up in a no, no ungodly behavior. Your name not supposed to call up say you show up on a chichi party as a leader. Your name not for call up on no corruption. Let's move along, cause it lists too long. Let's talk about cockroach Everal Warmington. Only need to look to any further about moral decency. Eh? Only need to look no further for moral decency from cockroach Everal Warmington. Let's come on now. Let's go over Portland. Let's talk about Daryl Vaz. Only need to look no far further. Let's talk about James Robertson. Only need to look no further. Let's talk about Dean Jones. Only need to look no further, Labour right. Let's talk about Bobsy Grange. Only need to look no further. Jamaica Labour Party, come on. Let's talk about moral integrity. Only not have no right. We speak for moral integrity because the Jamaica Labour Party don't exist when it comes out to moral integrity. We don't have none of that for speak about. The list goes on. You know what I'm call more name? Let's talk about Aris Chang. Minister of National Security. Why the United States government have put a waiver visa to him? Why? Why would the government label him as involved in a money laundering and is a crime organizer? Why? Let's come again, Jamaica. Talk about moral integrity. Eh? Why don't you go check up Desmond background? Desmond Mackenzie. Hmm? Let's talk about moral integrity. Eh? The Jamaica Labour Party must never speak and moral integrity. Must never speak on moral integrity. Look how much investigation with the ministers and I need investigation for public funds. Huh? Let's talk about Dr. Tufton. Now, in their video out, sex video out. Come on, Jamaica. 
So me want to tell the Jamaica Labour Party. Now make words fool you and you run out here. If you can sit in office as criminals, we don't have the how much drugs that come through the wharf, the how much guns that come through the wharf, the how much money lingerie we don't have a go on with. Then, don't come over here, run out here about no moral integrity. Jamaica Labour Party don't know what the moral integrity look like or sound like. You hear me say? So if Isaac Buchanan can go to East Portland, East Portland give Isaac Buchanan no support. If you don't want to use one mistake with Isaac Buchanan, do in him life to say he's not qualified. Put the good and the bad on the scale and wait. Jamaica Labour Party and ask yourself which part of the scale are going to wear the ace. Because Jamaica Labour Party, the last time me check, no have no moral integrity from 1960 something. That was one of the reasons why Michael Mandy did have to put some on under a state of emergency and lock him up. Why you not know ask? All the rest of them about moral integrity. Now, Jamaica, I tell you, it's a labor right that have no sense. You know? Like, something like that should even come out of the mouth. About moral integrity. Moral integrity. Does the Jamaica Labor Party know what moral integrity look like? Does the Jamaica Labor Party know what moral integrity sound like? That word is not for only to, only to use Jamaica Labour Party, Prime Minister Andrew Olness and your team. That word is not for only to use. Because you know, they don't have none of that. None of that. Jamaicans, don't let them fool you. But we are waiting till 2025 come. When Andrew called the election, because we have one of things to release to the public. See, I have a phone. I don't give nobody that phone number. Yeah. Certain people alone can contact this phone. Yet till 2025 come. I promise in the 2024, I don't see everything but so. 2025, me and own labor rights. So one of my supporters left a comment on my previous video. Stating that Anjo Holness is the pirate of the Caribbeans, and I must say, I agree one hundred percent. This man, bare face on a different level, is like the man to have no shame. The man don't even have respect for himself. Yo, the man take everybody for fool. Imagine the leader of our country wants the law that was put in place. To investigate illicit enrichment to be declared unconstitutional like it no make no sense corruption at its finest these are the same laws that was implemented by the government you know what hurt me the facts are some people want them things here for just slide we see some silly people yeah, I turn a blind eye to the foolishness. Like them a benefit from the millions of politicians that thief left, right and center. The man around the country like a family business and wanna take it for joke. Andrew Holness. Why you run Ghana court now, Andrew Holness? Why you why you trying to stop the investigation into your fears, Andrew Holness? Fresh drop. And every time I talk, it look to people, it look to everybody now. Like me not like Andrew Holness, or like me not like the JLP. And I am here to assure you all that that is not it. That is not it at all. I just cannot be biased. I cannot be biased like some of the media houses when we see now. Being blatantly biased, covering up for Andrew. Because them in the corner of the JLP. Me can't do that. Me in the corner of the JLP too, but me can't be biased. And Andrew Holness. Prime Minister Andrew Holness, me never see something so ridiculous. The JLP formulate the laws to govern the Integrity Commission. The JLP form the Integrity Commission. And then the JLP gone to court now 
to fight against the integrity commission to strike down the law that they formulate <laughs> when the fuck's that do? no am i in law law land what the hell is going on the jlp formulate the law draft the law effect the law and then the jlp gone to court now to say the law is unconstitutional fresh oh, drop wedi 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 dying trial hey how can andrew holness the prime minister run to the court now doing everything in your powers to stop an investigation into your affairs when you said that you're clean now if i am accused of wrongdoing if people suspect me of wrongdoing and i know that i have done nothing wrong i would welcome every investigation into me to try and clear my name i would move heaven and earth to help those investigating me so that they would get to the bottom of it to show that I have done nothing wrong. The only way I would have to fight tooth and nail to stop the investigation is if I want to find out something. And I don't hear the PNP and the opposition hammering home this point. And I don't want to believe that I'm going to side in the PNP. I'm going to the side of Jamaica. 119 is on the side of Jamaica, regardless of which party I believe is the best party to lead Jamaica. Because I believe the JLP is the best party to lead Jamaica. But that no means so when the JLP do something wrong, me now go lick out upon them. And Andrew you are doing beer and gamboo. Beer and gamboo now, Andrew. Withdraw this lawsuit. You look stupid. Oh, you look fool, fool and foolish. What are you trying to hide? Why are you doing everything in your power for to stop the investigation? Fresh drop. Why doesn't the JLP say we welcome any investigation into our leader and prime minister because he has nothing to hide? And why don't the PNP come out and make that point that it is almost an admission of guilt? If somebody is trying to investigate you to clear your name, you would want to clear your name. We are on Ghana court for. We are challenge the investigation for. You don't want to investigate, turn over every stone. And as he said, no, no, I need the stone them. You know, give them a full cooperation, man. But no. The JLP and Andrew is doing everything with no power to stop this investigation. Kawa, we don't want to find out something. Eh? Nah, man. And I want us all to understand something, you know. I want us all to understand something. Because I don't think we understand the seriousness and the consequences of when our politicians, when our politicians engage in skullduggery and fleece the country's coffers of money. I don't think we don't understand how it affects you. So let 119 tell you. How it affect you? You don't see the bad road them on a drive pan? You don't see how the road them a mash up with vehicle? It's because some of the money to fix those roads gone into the pockets of politicians and their friends. Fresh you don't see them no go to the hospital. No equipment no did there. No bed no did there. It's because some of the money where they buy the beds and the equipment gone into the pockets of politicians and their friends. I saw it affect you. When you go to the tax office, when you go to the government offices, how do you not cheer if you sit down in the hot sun and have a line up and all these things? And the place then look round down and pop down. When you don't have, no, have no water, you don't have no pipe, and they say they don't have no money, it's because the money gone into the pockets of the politicians and their friends. So we should shield no politician who is corrupt. And I am not accusing anybody in particular here because I don't have no information. I am not the one doing the forensic evidence looking through the this and the that. I am just saying that when wrong is wrong, it is wrong. And it is wrong. It is wrong for Andrew to run to court now. For do, we don't have to do everything now to try to stop the investigation. And I am saying it is almost an admission of guilt.